Good evening, welcome back to Sewing a Bourbon. Tonight, we're asking a question. Are celebrity bourbons any good? On the south side of heaven, won't you take me home? Oh, Glenn, oh, who's, are we who sings that? Mr. Ryan Let Bingham. him sing it. So tonight, we're reviewing Ryan Bingham's Texas bourbon whiskey. And if you don't know who Ryan Bingham is, shame on you. Uh, Glenn, shame tell him tell who Ryan Bingham is. Ryan Bingham is a singer, obviously. Song He's writer. also an ex-rodeo cowboy. Clown. No. And he also happens to be a co-star on just some little show called Yellowstone. Have you I've ever heard, heard of it? Yeah. Is that about the uh, park rangers? Mm, no, it's no, not. No. He's on Yellowstone, too. So we're going to try to superimpose a picture of him here. So you'd be like, oh, I know that guy. He's the guy on Yellowstone who sings. That is him. And he's been singing for a long time. We have been fans of his for a very long time. Uh, go back and watch the movie Crazy Heart with uh, Jeff, uh, Jeff Bridges. Bridges. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, he wrote the title track to that with old T-Bone Burnett. Anyways, enough of us fangirling over Ryan Bingham and his magical voice. Let's talk about his uh, new bourbon. Let's do it. Charlie, we have two offerings here. We do. We have These are Texas bourbons. Texas straight bourbon whiskey. The white label is 80 proof. This is grain to glass. Ooh. I made it hot. Grain to glass Texas whiskey. Um, no age statement on this, but we're going to get into that in a moment. Um, as I said, it's 80 proof. Um, Undisclosed mash bill, but it is grain to glass, blah, 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 distilled and bottled in Texas. So I'm curious about this one because if you have watched any of our previous episodes, you know that we are basically functioning alcoholics. No, I'm just kidding. We're not. But we do like higher proof bourbons. We, we typically do. So an 80 proof bourbon usually doesn't move the needle too well for us. So I'm super curious about this. But one. we're going to try it anyways. Let's nose and taste, and okay. then we'll, get, we'll okay. get into it. We'll do it. So color is, as you would expect from an 80-proof bourbon, very light. Um, yeah, you know. Charlie. Ooh. <laughs> Campfire? I, I don't. Wait, wait, wait. Have... No, no, no. <laughs> that is not corn. That is corn. Okay, there's the corn. But... It does have kind of a little smoky campfire. There is some smokiness to it. Whew, a lot of corn. But though. the overwhelming nose, the yeah. note on the nose is corn. Corn. Candy corn, sweet corn, whatever you want to call it. Texas smells corn. very young. So I'm not going to judge before I taste. I kind of am. <laughs> okay. So... The smokiness from the nose kind of comes in right at the last really minute does. after you after you um, swallow. Very sweet. The corn is the most prevalent flavor. A little caramel, caramel corn. It's eighty proof. It's you know, it's not bad. It's a. It's not terrible. Yeah. It, it is a hundred percent better than I thought it would be from the nose. Very because sippable. If when you nose it, if you are an experienced bourbon drinker and have any experience in younger startup, um, small distilleries, and you nose that, that's going to bring back and hearken. It's two episodes I've said hearken Hark. in. Um, not very pleasant, just straight corn liquor. This ha it has a little bit of um, something to it. Do you know? Person. Do you remember? The St. Augustine bourbon I do. that I brought back from yes, Florida. Yes, 100%. We did this, a full episode, and you should go back and watch it. This is very reminiscent of that. This is a, a lesser proof. It is. I, I will tell you, I think I prefer this over the St. Augustine. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was so good. Yeah, th this is not, um, it's not bad. No. It's, it's not bad. Once again, very sippable. Um, not... Super complex. It's 80 proof. It's and sippable. You don't whiskey. expect that. It, you, yeah, you're, you're not buying this because you're thinking it's going to be an experience in furthering your bourbon palate. You're buying it because you're a fan of Ryan Bingham's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 
And do you want to taste it? The nose is not super inviting. If the you nose, like, if the you nose, like corn, then, then the maybe. nose is not inviting. Um, but if you're I, now, I will tell you this: we can get a little stuffy sometimes because we've been around the block a little while. We can. If you are new to bourbon. I think this is an unbelievably great starter bourbon for someone. This may be. 80 very proof, well maybe. very sweet, a little smoky. It has some character. Very nice. Throw it over some an ice cube, drop water in it, you know, make a cocktail out of it. Excellent starter bourbon. I would not throw this over an ice cube because I think that would completely kill any... But as a starter drinker, sure. we're not talking to you. Sure. There, Mr. High and Mighty. Uh, our next offering is Bingham's Bourbon Black, which is 94 proof. So the only difference that I can see is uh, increase in proof. And we don't know anything about the age. We don't know anything about the mash bill, correct? We do not, but we do know one thing about this. And actually, we're going to drink this one, and then we're going to talk about the, uh, the elephant in the bourbon. Much darker. Much darker. Um... The nose is definitely a little bit more balanced out than the 80 proof. Mm -hmm. the, that just hits you in the mouth, hits you yeah, in the nose. Corn, the corn is kind of really mellowed out. Yeah, it's definitely, I mean, my guess is this is an extremely high corn mash bill. Yeah. So this is a little more, smells a little more refined. A little than, bit. Than the 80 proof. Cheers. South side of heaven. You know what? That's not too bad. I kind of like that one. Yeah. Not that I didn't like the first one, but again, the overwhelming flavor is sweet corn. It uh, is, but there's your, I'm picking up a little bit more of the classic yep. bourbon flavors here. A um, little bit of vanilla. Um, a little bit of, I, I'm almost getting a little bit of baking spice in there it, it's got a little spiciness or, to it definitely kind of mid palate like brown sugar or something in it, there. there's something there and um uh, yeah. a little more punch yeah it, it's you would think going up 14 proof that it would be like substantially proofier mm -hmm. there's not a huge difference in terms of the alcohol burn. no not in terms of the alcohol it there definitely, is definitely an increase in flavor yes um I, I, it's hard to be super, super critical just taking into account what they are. You know, th this is not, you know, age stated, 10 years old, blah, 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 this, that, the other single barrel. It's obviously pretty young. Uh, and we're going to talk about that. So the interesting thing, um, and if you get online, I got these online, uh, went to uh, Bingham's Bourbon website, kicks you to the website, I ordered this two pack. I think it was a 120 bucks for the pair shipped. You know, 60 bucks a bottle. Cool, I'll play. Uh, one of the things that it discloses um, on the original and the black, the proof, and it says enhanced with the Persedo Craft, C-R-A-F-T. That's an acronym. It's an acronym. And I thought, I'm an educated human and I don't know what that is. So you know what I did? You Google. I fired up the Google machine. And Persido is a company that in the early 2000s started building a machine to run spirits through to make them more refined, more smoother, more... More smoother. Less... Harsh. Is that in their media package? It is in their media package. We it's, make spirits more smoother. They are in Texas, so it's possible. <laughs> this kind of sent me down the rabbit hole because there are have been a couple other companies that have started doing this, and Persedo or Persedo, however you say it, um, have actually released their own spirits that they are distilling or sourcing and running it through their machines. And I'm gonna gonna read this. Um, they use ultrasound temperature vacuum flow rates of gases bubble size to control the things and create an environment whereby certain things will jump out of the solution 
meaning the bourbon or the gin or the vodka or whatever they're running, um, that would normally not. These are things that have been co-distilled over and over and are still distilled in the spirit. We're able to jump in there and grab them. So, and I know you're falling asleep. This is super interesting to me. What they're doing is not hyper aging. They're using a machine to take out imperfections and flavors and alcohol forwardness that you don't necessarily want in a young They're spirit. using technology to do some of the work that the barrel does over a long period of time. It's and not, time, yeah. It's not, and they are very specific about this. Right, it's not a substitute for a barrel. For aging, no. But And I don't know what to think about that. I, uh, I don't either. I just think it's extremely interesting mm -hmm. and Bingham's Bourbon has it's bothering me that that corks on all the way in. But Bingham's Bourbon has used that process. And, I mean, if it is really young, I mean, it's it's pretty deep. I mean, they're both very drinkable bottles. You want to rate them? Oof. Not particularly. <laughs> what, what was I love our, you, Ryan Bingham. <laughs> I do. I love you, Ryan Bingham, as well. And I have faith in you. You're going to... These, these, are, these, are, these, these are fine. Now, 60 bucks. The, the question is celebrity bourbons. <laughs> and we could lump in celebrity spirits to that because there aren't a lot of celebrity bourbons, hmm. right? Matthew McConaughey has his Matthew at Wild McConaughey, Turkey. McConaughey, Terry Bradshaw, uh, the Mannings. Who else? Um, there's some actor brothers who have, which ha have. They've gotten some pretty good um, I don't reviews. Know I the know. brother, is it Brothers Bond? I don't know. I don't, I don't think Look so. it up. Anywho, the whole, the, the whole moral of the story and the reason we picked these up, we both like Ryan Bingham. We thought this was cool looking online. I wanted to know more about this craft process. Bob did. Bob, oh, um, Heaven's Door. Heaven's Door. Is that yes. what it's called? Heaven's Door, yeah. So, so the question is, do you instantly run out and grab the celebrity bourbon? Is it a cash grab? Is it what? Is it this? Is it that? What are your thoughts? I would not prejudge. However, I would approach with caution. I do not feel like either one of these bottles are $60 bottles. I don't know if they would be $60 bottles if they did not have a celebrity's name attached to them. Are they terrible? No. I want to make sure I told you correctly. Okay. Um, so here, here is how I view it. So if you jump on Bingham's website, oh, that's awesome. There was a $10 coupon. I didn't even use it. Um, yeah. Okay. So the, the, the set that I bought was $105, $104.99 plus shipping and everything. I think it was like a hundred and something dollars after. Uh, I bought them because of Ryan Bingham. And I thought it would make a cool episode. Absolutely. And that's what we're here for. To yeah. save you money. To, yeah. Now, if you're a fan of Ryan Bingham and you love Yellowstone and you think, hey, when Yellowstone comes on, I'm going to make myself a old fashioned or a Kentucky mule or whatever with Ryan Bingham's bourbon, then rock and roll. Speaking of Yellowstone. Oh, boy. This reminds me a bit of Yellowstone bourbon. The corn. Yeah. A little it, bit. It, yeah. A little bit. A little bit. So, all right, I, let's I, rate it. That's no, oh, no, no, no. We're gonna rate. We're gonna rate this one first. Okay, eighty proof. Okay, you go. All right, taking into consideration the price point and what it is and the proof and everything like that, that is a solid four point five for me. Is a I, is a four point five. I love you, Ryan Payne. I, I give it a four. That before you said 4.5, I was a solid four on this. Yeah. Well, the black. I will go substantially higher on the black because I, I do, I drink uh, my black label uh, because I enjoy it. Um, I think it's, it's pretty good. It's different from the other things I normally have. Mm -hmm. Another part of this that I was thinking is I don't have any kind of younger corn forward, just kind of bourbon. And this kind of, I, I like that corn flavor every once in a while. Okay. So I will give that a five and a half. That's exactly where I landed, 5.5. Totally respectable, especially for your first offering. 
So it only gets better from here, right? I you're making that face. <laughs> you're, so. you're making that face. If you're a fan of Ryan Bingham's, you should definitely check them out because they are drinkable bottles. Glenn's being particularly No, and I don't honored. mean to be negative. I, I, I throw all my support behind any, you know, grain to glass, startup distillery. Hey, your first product is not your best. Well, Ever, yeah, he probably. didn't jump on a private jet and fly up to Heaven Hill and, it, no. and be like, I so, want those six bottles. I want to throw it in a guitar-shaped uh, thing yes. and sell it for 250 bucks. So let me bucks. be very clear about this. Yeah. I fully support this. I think you should go out and try it. See if you like it yourself. Um, enough said. Ryan's not worried about his troubles. No, Ryan's not. So... Um, <laughs> Yeah, so to Glenn's point, celebrity bourbons, do your research, uh, Googles, and if you're a fan of the celebrity, rock and roll. Let it, us know if yeah. there's a celebrity bourbon that you like. Comment you if there is a celebrity bourbon that we absolutely have to check out or we absolutely have to stay away from because we'll probably buy a bottle of that too just to do a review. Uh, but definitely, if nothing else comes out of this episode, if you haven't listened to Ryan Bingham, do so. Do so. Like right now. Like tell your robot or get on Spotify or whatever you kids do nowadays and, and listen to some of that. So. On the south side of heaven, won't you take me home? You know nobody's going to listen to I sound to just like you, He doesn't. No. Brian does not sound anything like Glenn. So let me put your mind at ease. Um, yeah. So with that, that's the episode. Thank you, Ryan. God bless you. Keep uh, your bungholes tight. Keep your bungholes tight. Good night, everybody. Ryan is not going to invite you to as well. I don't care. That was Welcome right away. Hookers. Action. I'm going ready. Pick up, Pick your, up crazy your crazy heart and give it, it one, one more, more try. try. One yeah. more try. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan. Bingham. Action. <laughs>